Even though the lights are on here at Church's Chicken, it has remained closed since last night's shooting. Take a look behind me. You can see people have dropped off candles and flowers throughout the day. Meanwhile, relatives of the 28 year old woman who was killed say her death has left them broken. I love her so much. Clutching her younger sister's photo, Gabriella Moreno says it's difficult to find the words to express how she feels about her being gone. It's hard. It's hard. I spoke with Maribel Moreno Ibanez's family outside the Otay Mesa home they all shared. On Wednesday, Maribel left to go to work at the nearby church's chicken, a job she's held for the past eight years. According to San Diego police, around 530, a known customer came inside and shot Maribel along with two male employees. This after they refused to take a counterfeit bill he tried to use earlier in the day. Maribel was killed. The other two survived. Maribel's mom rushed to the scene unaware of her condition. Is she okay? I don't know. I don't know what she is at. My daughter called me and she told me, Mom, Mom, uh, they shoot Maribel. And I got there and I was looking for my daughter and I didn't see her. That's why I was asking, where is she? Investigators released this photo showing what they believe to be the dark colored sedan the suspect left in. He's described as being black in his 30s, 6'1", with a thin bill, wearing a light blue sweatshirt and a Chargers beanie. Maribel's family, including her husband of just eight months, say they want justice. La mucho y por justicia. I t say to him to turn himself in because you damage a whole family. Meanwhile, at Church's Chicken, the lights remained on Thursday, food scattered across the counter, all signs of the turmoil Maribel and her coworkers went through. Throughout the day, people stopped by with candles and flowers to show their respect. Because I'm a mother too, and I can feel the pain that the mother of the people that got hurt and the other one that got killed. And back out here live, a vigil is planned for 6 o'clock tomorrow night. Meanwhile, a GoFundMe page has been set up to help pay for Maribel's funeral expenses. 